week. Our main priority is healing and wellness. That's where we are putting our time and our energy. So we utilize um, the support of a number of elders who work with the organization, providing guidance and traditional knowledge and stories and all of those things to kind of help people back on track. First of all, that reconnection to culture, but also with that um, connection back to community too, right? In the urban community, we're more likely to be dispersed and not have those connections that individuals might have back home in their communities. Yeah, so our resources are about that healing piece. So we're looking at, um, you know, driving their wellness through a variety of different services. I try to stay away from the concept program because program, um, you know, presents as a, a, a short time intervention, but services overall are reflected through things like the symptoms of that intergenerational trauma. So substance abuse issues, domestic violence, um, maybe addressing the, the core issues that led their kids into care or their criminalization overall. And uh, every, every person has a very unique path. So we try to gear the services in a very unique way. So it's not a cookie cutter approach to, to help. The SAGE program, yes, that's a 12 week program for Indigenous women. And it's meant for women that have never had the experience of work or have had a limited experience in working. So we're trying to instill skills around uh, stability of uh, attending, you know, a program every day, and also focusing on those life skills, things like building up self-confidence and self-esteem, self-worth, um, learning communication skills, learning relational skills too, like all of those things that are sort of important, um, not just in your personal life, but also in the workplace, mm -hmm. how you get along with others and how you manage your stress in the workplace and those kinds of things. Um, in the program, they do a short practicum uh, with the women in need so they can kind of get a, the experience of doing a day-to-day a -day job. But they also kind of gain an understanding of either, you know, what are they interested in. You don't get a job out of the end of the program per se, but you get, you know, I guess a plan, a plan of action for the next steps that would provide you towards training, school, employment, um, maybe even just volunteering, right? That might be a step for many of the women who have had work experiences. And we have uh, the Soup Sabatagisan program, which means living a good life in Blackfoot. And that program is our primary work in restorative justice with the Calgary Indigenous Court. And the work that we do is, again, on, on the healing plans for individuals who are um, accused and in the court system. And um, it started with elders. Elders guide and support the individuals through the process. And they also create the foundational recommendations for their healing plan, along with the community case management table of multiple partners that sit at the table to support these individuals while they're going through the process. And... Um, at the end, when they're successful, they um, have a blanket celebration in the court system. So it's a really, really awesome way to recognize the hard work, particularly for individuals in restorative justice, because it's a longer process and it takes a bit more time than going through the regular court system. But what we're finding is that the more that people are involved and, and motivated to be involved in it, that they're healing and they're less likely to go back and reoffend and um, more likely to, to get something positive around their own um, points of recovery and, and well-being, right? Yeah, well, I, I just think it's, it's um, the transition that the agency has done is go from the prison system to restorative justice because the more that we can prevent people from getting into the system, the less um, that we have to deal with at, when people go to the system. There's a lot of trauma in that in itself. Mm -hmm. Um, so if we can help people get on their healing path and get reconnected to culture and, and community, we're more likely to be successful in preventing them um, from actually going to prison. And um, in the two, three and a half years, I guess, that we've uh, had the program through the courts, there's been less than four people that have been incarcerated as a result of, of the work that they're doing through the courts and Suksabadwisa.